Today I thought we would sow some of the seeds that I collected a couple of weeks back, the Anacanthera smilothii or Milothi. Not sure if it's got one or two eyes on the end of it. So over here, I picked up these containers. Now you can use containers from takeaway stores, but I find that if you put them out in the weather or in the sun, they go really brittle and they seem to snap really easily. So these ones looked like they were reusable ones, like they're not meant to be single use. So I got these from um, a discount place and that's what uh, the label looks like. So they look a little bit stronger. So what I've done on the bottom of them, I'll take the lids off. I grabbed a post-it note and I wrote a label. So on the bottom of them, you can see Anacanthera smilothii. I've written my own seeds and I've put the date uh, that I'm going to sow them. So that's today's date. So inside this container, I'm not going to put any holes in the bottom because uh, I want it to stay nice and moist inside to help the leaves to germinate. So I've got my scoop from um, Kenneth that I got in the unboxing video that I did before. I'm going to get some of this. So what I've got here, uh, the soil I've got is actually a bag of succulent soil from Bunnings. Bunnings is our main hardware store over here in Australia. It's one of the big ones. And so I've mixed with it uh, some sand. So I actually grabbed a, sand, a, a bag of, I think it's called uh, paving sand, and it's been washed and you can get that from garden supplies. So I tend to get it from there, or you can buy a bag of it from Bunnings as well, but I think it's a little bit dearer. So just going to level that out. It's also got extra perlite. So those little white bits there, that's actually perlite. Now it looks a little bit like the beans which you put into bean bags, but it's a, I think it's actually a volcanic rock. So it doesn't feel like rock. When you pick it up, it actually feels like the beans that are in bean bag, <laughs> in bean bags. But it just helps to aerate the soil and um, give it some nice drainage. So I didn't make this especially for the seeds. I was considering just putting them into sand. But I thought since I'd already mixed this up for my succulents, I will have a go at using this. So into this, we're going to put our seeds that we collected. So I'll put this aside. Now, because our seeds are a white color, I've got some black paper here that I'm going to put them on. So I'm going to fold it in half, and this is hopefully going to help me to distribute the seeds. Now, you can use water and a toothpick and pick up the seeds one at a time. Uh, just move this extra soil out of the way. But I thought that that might be a bit tedious. So I thought what I might do, and because I've got so many seeds... I, and because they're my own and they didn't cost me anything, I thought what I would do is to just get some of the seeds and just sprinkle them on top. So I've got my seeds here. So they've been, you can see there, if I put my hand there, that they've been um, labeled as well. And it's got the date that I, I was gonna say picked them, um, harvested them, I guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna tip some of them out onto this black paper. Now this could go very badly or it could go quite well. I don't want to get too many. Now there's still some seed pods in there, so I don't want to get those either. So I just need to try, I'll just sprinkle some out. I reckon that looks like oh, probably about 20 or 30 seeds. I'll take the seed pods back out of there, put them aside. They can go back into the bag. All right, so there's our seeds. They're quite small, aren't they? So what I'm wanting to do is to just distribute them onto the soil. So I'll bring you down a little bit closer and make sure that you can see. And so what I'm just gonna do is tap the paper. So hopefully you can see those seeds there. I'll start over here and I just wanna tap the paper and just move them around. They're coming off fairly slowly, which is good. And I'm just moving them around, tap, tap, tap and trying to distribute them fairly evenly. I'm not sure how many to put. I, I don't know if I'll have much success. I haven't ever grown these from my own, well, from anyone's seeds, including my own, but because they're my seeds and I've got quite a few of them, I'll just tip them all in there. All right, so after I've done that, what I'm going to do is to, I've got some sand. Now, I would like it to have been uh, dry sand. Unfortunately, it's not. But what I'm going to do is to just sprinkle it over the top, just so that the seeds are covered with something. So 
I'm gonna be making a mess on my kitchen table here, but I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. I've gotta to be careful too, not to let it compress down. So I just want a little sprinkling of sand. Like I said, ideally it would have been dry, but then I am going to dampen this anyway. So it's gonna get wet anyway, because we wanna make sure that it's got high humidity in here for the seeds. So after I've done this, uh, I might do I might do a second container and then I will spray it with water. Rain water is probably the best, but it um, doesn't really matter. I'll spray it with a bit of water and I'm actually going to put it onto um, out in the sun on my front veranda. So I'll show you where I'm going to put them and they actually get sun there. Oh, not direct sun, but they get bright light there all day, pretty much until the sun goes down. All right, so we've sprinkled that on. Don't want it to be too thick. Just hoping, I might do a little bit more along the edge there. Just hoping to cover those seeds just a little bit. I don't think it'll really matter. And then we're going to, I'm gonna mist it with some water and I'll show you where I'm going to put them um, to see if they actually germinate or not. So put this down and I'll do the second one and then I'll show you where I'm going to put them. I've got the seeds here and I've just got a trigger spray bottle and I've filled it with filtered water. Uh, just gonna give them a little bit of a spray. It's not a very good spray bottle, it's leaking all over the place. But we'll just give them a little bit of a spray. We want there to be high humidity. So what I will do is check this in a couple of days and just see if it's wet enough inside. We want condensation on the lid. So you wanna see drops of water on the inside of the lid. So after we've sprayed it, I'm actually debating you could put these on a windowsill. Uh, it might be a little bit wide for my windowsill. So that's got heaps of water in them now. So we'll put the lids on. Now that I've made a terrible mess on the ottoman. <laughs> like I said, that was a terrible spray bottle. I can't seem to find a good one that doesn't leak. I don't know what it is. All right, so we'll put the lids on and collect these and we'll take them out and we'll put them into the sun. Try and think of the best place to put them. We'll go outside, just out the front door. We've got our tags underneath to remind us when we've sown the seeds, but we'll head out to the veranda. And on the front veranda here, we've got, I've got my racks with a whole stack of plants in there and it gets a lot of sun. So it gets all of the sun during the day. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know if you can see that that's sunny. I can feel it. You can't really tell, can you, with the camera? But we're gonna move this frog here. Oops, there goes the frog and the butterfly. And the solar light there. Put the butterfly so that he's got the solar light in the, in the sun. So we'll put these over here and hopefully in a couple of days, they might start sprouting. So I'll give you an update, but we've planted those. So hopefully they'll go really, really well.